hey guys it's Christina welcome back to my channel so today so today we're going to be doing a different video I actually will be doing a um, haul and it's actually gonna be a mini haul because I didn't get that much stuff half the stuff is not even mine if we're being honest but about over a week ago, Sister and I went on a two week trip to Europe and we hit a couple of places. I'm not sure if this video is gonna go up first, like before the first vlog, but if it goes up after, make sure you go and watch my Barcelona vlog. While we were over there, we went to Barcelona, Rome, London, Paris, and Amsterdam. And so um, when we were actually in London, we decided to hit up Primark, cause I mean like, why not? It's London's Primark. And um, we just were like browsing around and stuff, but we didn't necessarily buy anything. Actually, no, I did buy stuff there. Um, and then when we were in Amsterdam, which was our last stop before we came back home, um, we went to the Primark there as well. And originally we weren't going to buy anything because we only went with carry-ons. So we really didn't have much space in our suitcases to buy, like bring back stuff and that. And we weren't trying to pay for like a check piece either. We did end up picking up a few things because... Um, it was just cheaper there and uh, for those who don't know like I'm from Jersey and we actually do have a Primark here but it's more like down south of Jersey and I haven't been but my cousin was just like she's been but she's also studied abroad and she was like yeah the Primark in um, Europe is so much better. I'm gonna start stop chatting and then I'm gonna show you all that I got and then all that my sister got and stuff but all the price you see is the price you get when you're over in Europe like the tax like that's all included so like when something's like 10 pounds or 10 euros that's all you're paying like nothing extra but here in the US something could be like $15 and you still gotta pay sales tax on it everything's just cheaper over there in that sense but yeah so to start off when you go you usually get a nice little brown paper bag you know good for the environment and so what the first thing I got was actually this so a nice, typical, basic black tote, and um, I bought this. I first saw it in London, it was actually only eight pounds. And then uh, the one in Amsterdam, it was 10 pounds. Yeah, I mean 10 euros, whoops, yeah, 10 euros. And so um, I got this because I actually don't have a black tote. I feel like it's so much easier, like when I go to um, like interviews for like programs that I'm doing or like any biz business, related stuff you should have like a black well girls should have a black bag of some sort I don't have a black bag I have like uh I don't even know how to describe it but it's just not black and usually I have to act like my friends for one but like if they're also using it and I can't use it but it's really big I don't know if the size is really showing up like you can tell how big it is but um yeah and it's really deep and it actually does have a pocket so like, I definitely could fit my laptop and a bunch of other stuff in here. I probably, this low key could be like a weekend bag if I was going somewhere, if I'm being quite honest. Um, so that's the first thing I got. And this was in Amsterdam. And then what I actually got in London was some basics. So I got a belt. And it's funny because the belt that I already had was actually like really ripped up. So um, I was like, might as well buy it. And I don't remember how much this was, but it was cheap. And then I also got a undershirt, a typical black undershirt. Um, I don't know how much this was, but I remember the total was three, three pounds, 20 pence. So I don't know. I can't remember which was what, but each was at like a dollar something, uh, a pound and some change. And such which I thought was good because um, you know basics and honestly like I just needed a belt really quick and I wasn't for trying to pay like $15 back here like Marshalls or like so for a belt even though it'd be like better quality but like this will last me until I need a new one so this is stuff that my sister actually got but it would make no sense for me to do a mini haul with only three items because who does that so I'm gonna show you what she got so the first thing is this right this looks like maroon. it might come up like red orange on camera but orange so like this nice little backpack and it has two front pockets a side pocket two side pockets for like your water bottle and stuff real cute or whatever 
and this was actually on clearance and so it went from 12 euros to 7 euros so this was bought in Amsterdam then open this because this is where you put everything it has like a I don't know, just like a squishy like little backing. So it's like good for back support. And if you have like a laptop, a small laptop or a tablet, it can fit in here. And it actually has another inside pocket that is kind of deep. So you can fit your little knickknacks and stuff. But yeah, seven euros, not bad. She got two headbands. Oh, yeah, well headband scarf thingies. So this was two euros each. And um, on the US website, it was actually almost like $7. Come on, like, I'm confused, why? Like, I always was told, and I always kind of knew from like watching other people like shopping, like in Europe can be cheaper or like better. But I'm very confused why we just be taxing on everything here in the US. Like, what's our problem? What we do? What I do? What I do? So yeah. So this one is pink, gray, and white, you know, and then if you see right there, it shows you different ways you can style it on a purse, on your neck, on your head, and then this one is like a dusty goldish yellow, golden kind of, oops. So yeah, the next thing was a satchel, crossbody, I'll call it a crossbody. And so, so now you got a nice crossbody, really nice. You no, know, looking like faux leather, leather. Gosh, oh, can't see. Um, and it's brown. They actually had one in black on the mannequin, but we couldn't find it actually on the racks. And one of the um, cause one of the workers there said that uh, most likely it was already sold out, probably. But like if anything, like you could take off the mannequin. But I wasn't that pressed again because, like I said, I only had cash and I only had enough to buy the tote, really. Um, and so then it has two sides, and then on one side you have more slots to put like cards and stuff. But this definitely could fit like your phone, some lotion, little stuff that you need. And it's really cute and slender. And this was eight pounds. I mean, whoops eight euros so this was bought in amsterdam and then the last thing which i think is like the best find and buy out of like all of this and very um cute and something that probably would be on the expensive side if you bought it at like forever 21 because nowadays they act like they are rich they're like high and quality when they're not but they be hacking up the prices it's just nice bag nice rectangular bag with gold accent and um, this is actually for a friend because the bag we originally she originally wanted us to get we couldn't find in London and then it wasn't in Amsterdam either so we decided to get this instead for her and this is how deep it's pretty deep because here's my phone and my phone fits with space you can fit your wallet Loki could fit like a little bottle of water or a bottle of something else um and it has this little pocket where you could put like lip gloss you can always see lip gloss or chapstick or something and then it also has you have the option of an adjustable strap that is um you can attach and detach it um and this was 12 euros which is really cheap. I don't know if I was able to find this on the US website, but um, like kind of going off with the other bag that um, we were talking about that was 10 pounds in London, but it was $18 here. As I was saying, so this was the purse. And as you can see, it says, well, it's kind of cut off, but it says 10 pounds. So that was it um, in, in London, but we couldn't find it in the actual store. And then I decided, I was just like, oh, let me just check. Um, and so I Googled it. I mean, I searched it on the Primark website um, for the US and it said $18. And I was just like, yeah, that's dead. That's basically it. Hope you guys enjoyed this little very, very, very mini haul. Um, check out Primark if you're in the UK or in Europe. Um, also, I guess 
check out Primark here, but it's just not as good. But I would say like Primark is like the Forever 21, but like way, way better. Like I feel like the pricing in Primark, at Primark in the UK and in Europe makes more sense to like the quality of things. But anyways, hope you like this. Comment below what was your favorite item. Have you been to Primark? Have you heard of Primark? But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be on the lookout for the next video which will either be a travel vlog or a travel related video of some sort not sure but um yeah and until the next one peace